We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Reyna was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Captain. Excellency, what brings you here? What does your role involve? Each barracks must be headed by a senior officer. It's a matter of dividing the men between the different squadrons, assigning the missions and so on. It is unfortunately a monotonous and laborious job that is entrusted to officers who are considered too old for the field. I'll leave you to your work, Captain. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? 
to where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? I... Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me. You don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city where the men live and train, but I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rayner. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me.
It's a great pleasure to see you again at the... F Good day, Your Excellency. I am so very sorry, Your Excellency. Sadly, I have no time to chat. Ah, oh, this island is incredible. There are so many one... I am so very sorry, Your Excellency. Sadly, I have no time to chat. Such elegance. You really are honoring your uncle. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rayner. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go.
I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf, you're the leader of this camp. Do you two know each other? We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Afra. I'm a naturalist. I study flora to determine its medicinal properties. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guard's business. Does the same apply to me? Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret, even from your comrades in the guard? The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. I see the reason for this kind of training. The bridge alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I'd never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How is it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here, those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rainer. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable, but these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. 
You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. Knowing someone for a long time doesn't necessarily make them a friend. I understand. Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the Legate of the Merchant Congregation. He would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive, and I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Good. Don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. I'm not an idiot, sir. An offer like that comes at a price I'm not willing to pay. In that case, we'll go have a chat with your recruits. We need to get on with the exercises, Captain. I don't recall asking your opinion, Lieutenant. Captain. Hello, soldier. Captain, we need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, sire. I'm listening. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, Yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, sire. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. 
I... I... I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes, this boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. He can't hide the lies. Soldier! Captain! At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, sir. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Hmm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rainer sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Rainer. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. This recruit, Wilhelm, in spite of himself, led on more than the others. His resentment is clear. But he won't divulge anything as long as his instructors are nearby. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Sir? What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now, these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rainer fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This Lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the shadow. What is that? Your motto? 
Our squadrons, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the Shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rainer. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rainer left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I, I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, sire. Captain? Lieutenants! Report. Captain? Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go! I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Don't worry. Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Rainer didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. I've known scientists who've led these kind of experiments on animals. The results are terrifying. Even the most gentle animal can become a killer. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Rainer, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Rainer. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. 
You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Cut. Willem has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They're humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. The recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You knew about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement which they refused to open for me. This is an elite military camp. I hope you've really thought your plan through. Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight, especially Wilhelm. Strange. There's no one left in this part of the camp. Maybe they're in the combat pit behind the barracks. I saw it when I visited the camp. Or they've already left for their night training. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantin knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems, including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinder was right.
could have happened in here? I know the smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. People were tortured here. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Reyna shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. They want to make him pay for talking to us. He won't survive it. refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. If we had the time, we could find a way to put them all to sleep, but we haven't. They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. It's blocked. It's blocked. Kurt, you're so predictable. I knew you were a bastard, but I didn't think you'd be part of this disgrace. Have fun, soldiers. The traitors must die. Stop! 
Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We surrendered without resistance to avoid a fight and to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders. And we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! All this bullying and humiliation is only intended to turn you into weapons, not soldiers. And when a weapon is no longer needed, its owner throws it away rather than risk injury. That's why Rayner was disposed of. Being a soldier doesn't mean being a puppet. Put your weapons down. They're right, mates. I don't want to end up in the harbor. What do you think, soldier? You think we can trust them? It's over, Lieutenant. These recruits won't do your dirty work for you anymore. You're finally here. <sighs> Sorry, Captain. The boy resisted longer than planned. You were spared the shame of seeing how far your comrades have fallen. What happened? They surrendered. Like the weaklings they are. That should make the next night training sessions interesting. What have you done with Wilhelm? He received the punishment for traitors and insurgents, like Rayner before him. Kurt, I'm terribly sorry. We should have saved him first. We're responsible for his death. Don't be absurd. It's those who beat him who are responsible, and well you know it. You're right. For Wilhelm! For Rainer! Recruits, attack! To my help! And death to the others! Watch out! <laughs> Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you. Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. You! Take care of the camp's survivors until you receive your transfer orders. It will be an honor, Captain. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go and see her immediately.
Linda, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp, a secret camp, where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it, even encouraged it. I told you that the commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard, and that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder. And reveal the commander's project to the governor of the congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you. 